you're doing, man. It's awesome. Alrighty, today it's Donnie's turn to get worked on. I suffered a U-joint failure. Last time I was doing some testing on it and it killed the, <laughs> it killed a lot of things. Um, I was able to limp it back. It took me 40 minutes to go 10 miles an hour back it, and it was very shaky. So I'm like, all right, the U-joint didn't completely fail, but something is definitely not right because everything's vibrating. So when I pulled it in here, turned it off and then I got the garages open I came back to turn it on and the starter went and I was like, uh, oh, if the starter is acting up, that means the starter is not like where it's supposed to be. So I'm like, oh no, did like the transmission case break? So if you remember, you saw that video, but for those of you that are not members, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up in the air. And since the quick jacks are currently being used by the ZR1, it's going to be old school jack stands push it in each corner goes up try to get it up as high as i can so i have room to get the transmission out that's going to be the hard part get it up high enough to get the transition out it's going to be sketchy i'd rather do the quick jacks but you know how it is all right let me get the car in here and get it up in the air It's, it's heavy. You don't realize how heavy shit is. So you gotta push it. Wow. And it begins the process. So let's start undoing exhaust stuff. I'll take it through somewhat of the step by step. See how much to show you how much of a pain in the ass it is to work on these. Even though I have a garage, it's tight. This is why I kind of need elbow room. So I'll start uh, documenting the process. Like huge, huge garage so that you don't have to do this. Okay, eight trips out. That really sucked. That really sucked. So now time to get the drive shaft off. Now I'll show you the drive shaft quick. So the drive shaft had a cap come off. And there's the cap. So obviously, when that happened at 120 or so miles an hour, the vibrations it sent forward was pretty intense because it was rotating at a pretty good speed so obviously something has to take up the vibration so the starter is not really mounted right and I'm like wait what and then when I looked closer the starter mount had a crack on it I'm like uh oh that's not good so then see the starter one of the starter well, here it is the part of the block Okay, and then on this side, 180 degrees away, this guy decided to crack too. So what I'm hoping is that the back, you know, if there's two mounts that are jacked up, I don't care, I can weld that or have someone weld that. 
And if I have like five bolts holding onto the trans, I'm gonna ride out, fuck it. But I won't know until I take the trans out. So let's keep chucking. All right, so this is the part I installed. You know, I just wanted to make sure that nothing here was loose or weird and everything, I don't know, looks to be good. And the caps are still on the drive shaft here and here. So this end was good. That's really all I did. Yeah, the front side, all I did was bolt it on, really. And look, look at it closely. Look at where it failed, specifically. Like, that's wild to me. That wild, wild, wild. Here you go. So, <laughs> I'm sure that guy didn't fail first. I'm sure this guy failed first because it's missing the clip. And by the time I was rotating him, dancing around it, round it off. Obviously, this drive shaft is not to be trusted. And a lot of you will say, well, I just replaced the front. No, this whole thing has to be thrown away because the fact that it vibrated so much at a high speed, I have no idea if it has like micro fractures everywhere. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, this will be uh, thrown into the scrap heap. But there is... Uh, the damage so then yeah, this thing must have just let go at 120 miles an hour vibrated like this like crazy and you know if it's one-to-one -one shaft speed versus you know so what we're we doing six six seventy five hundred rpms just do the math I'm not <laughs> so, yep there you go for those of you interested as to what happened the drive shaft failed catastrophically vibrated forward transmission case broke and the back of the motor has a couple of cracks. So let's see how bad the damage is. I'm going to try to do my best to get everything apart today. But I am wiped out. I am just tired of working on cars all weekend. So I'm going to try to do my best to get the transmission out of it. And I'll end the video there. Got the bolts out. Now I'm going to work on the cross member. Sorry, I forgot to take video of that process because I was using two hands. So now the cross member. Fuck it, I'll video it upside down because I am not going to try to... Get all this. Yep. Drop, baby, drop. Yep, fuck it. I'm dropping everything here. Look at this shit. It wiped out the starter ear. Yeah, the starter mount is right here. This is the starter mount. This is a chunk of the... Uh, block that's the chunk of the block block starter <laughs> transmission so yeah i need a new starter also yay in case you wanted to know how i got to those top two bolts way the hell over there actually is there more bolts let me zoom in use the camera to my advantage nope and nope. so those two are the last ones i think yep the other ones i already got so uh, yeah, basically I used uh, the longest extension on the planet that I got. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so that's how I got to them, just in case you wondered. All right, Harbor Freight cart to the rescue. Hopefully I can get it pretty level and pry it out and see if it's my friend and wants to just move nicely and just drop on the cart. Very nicely, which I highly doubt will happen, but I don't know how much of it is super jacked up or not, but it seems to move pretty good. Apparently the remnants of the starter bolt, the bottom starter bolt that had a chunk of the block on it, uh, was holding it from coming out. So the trans should, should be mine now. <laughs> Look at that shit. It's officially out, as you can see, it's missing chunks i'm gonna pull this guy out because it looks really good um i don't see any visual issues with the torque converter and everything else looks really good let me get the 
Let me see if this zoom situation works. Or the, uh, there you go, the flashlight, there we go. So yeah, there you go, that's uh, what's going on. So I'm gonna get in there and inspect the block, see how bad it is. I gotta get this off of the cart so that I can actually slide everything out and then we'll peek inside and end the video there. Actually, I slid back the transmission so that I can have access, but look at that. The ring is still like, are the dowels still in there? What's holding this ring up? It's the dowels, I think. Let me see. Yeah, let me just, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's good carnage video, I guess. Not the kind of video I want to make. But yeah, the dowels are still, you know, holding everything in. Oh. Wow. So the dowels for the motor, the dowels for the motor were holding everything on. All right, let's go look at the motor itself. Uh, okay, so definitely not good here, but not terrible. Let me see if I can mate up the, uh, the, uh, the chunk. Okay, here's the chunk. So technically, if you want to be technical, I have the complete chunk. So, you know, if a welder out there is like, yeah, we could do that, we'll have a conversation. So I technically have the chunk here. What's going on over here? Over here was the where the where the bad shit looked. It looked, yeah, right here where the starter is. It does not look good. Let me sneak the camera. Let me turn the camera around and there you go. There we go. So, definitely need a starter, right? Starter ears junk, so I gotta get a new starter. Big deal, right? But, that's it. Like, that's it. The mounting ear for the starter broke. That one looks okay. I don't see any cracks. I'm trying to look very closely to see if any other cracks develop, but like, that's it. And I have that chunk. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. See, it has a smaller hole for the starter. And... Oh, Jesus. This thing almost fell on my fucking face. Jesus. Okay, let me uh, reorient this and take video later. Okay, so... There you go. So again, this is for the starter, so that has to go on. So, um, yeah, and it's got to be pretty strong. So I'd have to take the flywheel off. Oh, come on, zoom, buddy. I'd have to take the flywheel off and have a welder do that. And, yep, yeah, and then uh, have it be pretty structurally, you know, good so that, uh, you know, the starter is going to be kicking it. So <laughs> make sure that thing doesn't go flying. But the starter also has a mount up here if I'm not mistaken that I didn't use yeah so up here there's uh three mounts see where the starter bent look at that that thing bent this flex plate bent so the starter really saw some crazy torque when it went to shit but uh, I think I got lucky that I'm trying to take video of the other mounts to see if there's any cracks okay good this Looks good. No cracks here. No cracks there. The dowel here. Okay, that's the dowel. And no cracks there. But the bottom one did crack. This one. So this one's cracked. One, two, three, four. Oh, dowel. Uh, is it, I thought there was one right there. I could have sworn there was one right there. Maybe not. Okay, so it's here, but it's not on the block. It's on the... Wait, there has to be a bolt there. Yeah, there's got to be a bolt there somewhere. Unless it was this one that I was looking at. And if that's the case, that means the uh, the bell housing took the brunt of the, of the load. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. That guy. Okay, but where does that thread into? Shit, where, where's the video go? That guy, but where does that, oh, right on top of the starter. Top starter bolt, bottom starter bolt. So that, doesn't that go up against the block? 
Is it there? It is, is a... I could have sworn there was another one. By the way, that's your crank sensor in case one anyone wants to know. That's your crank sensor. So when you disturb this, do a clutch or something, and you fuck with that, it can uh, do PO315 codes. Ah, there it is. Okay, so the dowel does have a, a thread. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Let me go check. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. So that's not broken. So I have literally one, two, three. That one, two, that one, that one, one, one two. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, guys, I'm good. I'm happy. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one actual mounting hole was busted, and the other one is for the starter. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some uh, investigative journalism. And we're going to go ahead and end it there. I'm going to leave the trans where it is because I'm done for the day. The trans is out. Torque converter. Let me take the torque converter out and we'll check that out. Okay. Nothing super obvious. Apparently the shaking didn't make its way and, you know, kind of gum up the keys here. Input shaft. Jake's going to have to take a look at that. But I'm hoping that all of those billet internals that I purchased, the pump, all that stuff, I'm hoping none of that was disturbed. So there you have it, guys. Uh, ended up taking out the transmission from... Um, Donnie and I got lucky I think I got lucky that I didn't have engine issues but now you can see what happens when a drive shaft fails when a drive shaft fails all of that vibration goes forward and it just transfers to the transmission it transfers to the engine all that stuff so thanks to that little guy letting loose I ended up having a transmission issue and a chunk of the motor came apart so Next drive shaft I'm gonna get is probably gonna be carbon fiber. Brand, probably brand new, brand new U-joints, check everything, and have a drive shaft safety loop. In the event <laughs> anything like that happens, um, I'm definitely not gonna have more issues than I should have. And the carbon fiber is more of a uh, fuse in case it lets go, it just cracks and shreds as opposed to a big aluminum pipe that actually can use leverage to its advantage and wreck everything going forward. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Sorry about the uh, carnage, but I'm going to get it fixed. It looks to be not super terrible, so I'm going to talk to Jake, get the transmission over to Jake. This converter pie is going to go get taken apart and checked out again just in case anything got jacked up on the inside, and we'll have Donnie up and rolling, hopefully before the good weather ends. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you later.